Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Now sorry about not posting for a while as Vestaria had had a bit of a hiatus and there wasn't too much to post about so that's why I haven't posted. But Vestaria have just released a new fishing update. In this video I'll be going over all the new fish, locations of fish, how to get the new items and the new quest. So let's get into it. I'll have timestamps in the description if you want to find certain parts of the guide. So here are all the known fish and their locations in Vestaria and their perks. The catfish is found at Warrior Stronghold. Its perks are plus 5 greed when consumed. The speckled fish is found at Tree of Life and it gives 500 MP when consumed. The bloodfish is found at Port Fidelio. It gives 1500 HP when consumed. The Mahi Mahi fish is found at Port Fidelio and when consumed it regens health over time. The pebbled fish is found at Warrior Stronghold, it gives a defense buff when consumed. The angular fish is found at Shiprock Bottom and Tree of Life and gives you a light around you when consumed. The hammerhead shark is at Shiprock Bottom and can only be used for crafting and I'll put more information later in the video on this. The seahorse is found at Shiprock Bottom and gives a speed boost when consumed. The zebra fish is found everywhere and gives 150 HP and MP when consumed. The fresh fish is everywhere and when consumed it gives you 100 HP. The yellow puffer fish is found everywhere but it is not recommended you eat this as you could lose some health when consuming it. The big brown fish is found everywhere and when consumed it gives you 100 HP and MP. The rockfish is found everywhere and when consumed it restores 250 MP. The vibrant fish is found at Seaside Path and when consumed it gives you plus 5% to every stat. And the sand shark is found at Shiprock Bottom and when consumed it gives you a water buff similar to the cactus fruit at Whispering Dunes. Now let's move on to crafting. So when you catch hammerhead sharks at Shiprock Bottom, you can actually use them to craft some cool class hats that give boosts related to the water. I only know what the hunter mask ability is, so if you know what the mage and warrior buff is, let me know in the comments. To craft the tied hunter mask, you will need 30 hammerhead sharks and the ruby stinger. Its ability is called the shark pow and makes the shampo a whole lot cooler. To craft a deep skyra hat, you will need 30 hammerhead sharks and one spider fang. And to craft the wave breaker helmet, you will need 30 hammerhead sharks and one guardian core. Now let's go on to the final part of the fishing update, the new quest. So the quest line will give you a fishing rod and the advanced fishing rod, which can be used to catch all species of fish like the hammerhead shark and the seahorse. To start it off you will need to go to Kevin Senior and start the quest. He will tell you to get 5 yellow puffer fish, 15 fresh fish, 15 zebra fish and 15 rockfish. Once you have done that, go back to him and you will receive the fishing rod which can catch some new fish. Next he will tell you to catch 17 mahi mahi, 9 pebble fish, 13 angler fish, 8 blood fish, 5 speckled fish, and seven catfish. Once you have done all that, return to him and he'll give you the advanced fishing rod which can catch hammerhead sharks and rare fish like that. That is all there is for the new fishing update. If this video helped you, please leave a like as I put a lot of effort into these videos and I'll be making more best area content like this in the future. I'll see you all in the next one. Laters.